Well, it is a busy time in the sports world, mm -hmm. Ryan. You know all about Absolutely. that. Absolutely. <laughs> Lots got, happening. Everything going on. Right. We've got hockey playoffs. Those just started. Yeah. We're smack dab in the middle of baseball season. And the NBA playoffs as well. We just finished March Madness. You know, on occasion, something besides the score catches fans' attention. And unfortunately, it's doping. Morning Inside of Lauren Victory takes us inside a West Suburban gym with athletes who very intentionally say no to drugs. No pain, no gain. The age-old model of fitness. But the goal of the grimacing here isn't just to look trim and pretty. See, I didn't get too bad in the off season. <laughs> These athletes are vying for the perfect muscle to fat ratio. They're bodybuilders. 1,000, 1,000, 3, 1,000. Coach Brooks Robertson carefully calculates their output at the gym and input at home. What they eat, how much, how much sodium, how much water they drink. Clearly, precision is everything. Erin West perfects her moves five to six times a week, three hours each session. It's kind of just to show people you could be small, but you could still be strong, too. So that's what got me in bodybuilding. I kind of fit in because you're the oddball, you're the weirdo that likes to lift weights. These quote unquote weirdos are even more unique in the bodybuilding world because they're conditioning their physiques naturally. That means they don't use any performance enhancing drugs that can speed up metabolism and bulk you up at a faster rate. It's easy to be thin. It's easy to be strong, but it's hard to be strong, thin, pose. Bodybuilder Stacy Boyer says refusing to cut corners levels the playing field. She's behind a special Naperville competition that put natural right there in its title. The more than 100 bodybuilders signed up must take the no drugs pledge seriously. How do you make sure that your competitors are truly all natural? So we have a random testing policy. So we will pick three men and three women and we will be, we have polygraph. The show will also honor another type of commitment. Boyer, who is a U.S. Navy veteran, will invite anyone in the audience with military or first responder experience on stage for a tribute. They're going there to see their, their family member compete in this competition that they work so hard to, and then they get to go up on stage and be recognized for what they have done. Sacrifice in different forms. Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. Those bodybuilding championships are scheduled for this Saturday in Naperville. Now, the polygraph test we mentioned will ask about steroid, growth hormone, and testosterone use in the past three years. Competitors are allowed to use over-the-counter supplements. For more stories like this, download our CBS Chicago app and look for the section called Morning Insider.